Hi, my name is Andrei Bedrov. I am motorcycle instructor for Russian Advanced Street Riding School Motocontrol.ru. In this video, I will show you some exercises which will help you develop very good control over the friction zone. Mastering the friction zone is one of the essential riding skills which will help you in a lot of situations, especially in slow speed maneuvers. Let's find out what a friction zone is and uh, do some exercises to understand it better. Friction zone is a section of uh, clutch lever travel between the clutch engagement point and fully released clutch. How to find the engagement point? Start your engine, pull the clutch in, put brake in first gear and start very slowly releasing the clutch. At some point you will feel that the uh, bike wants to go ahead. This is engagement point. Remember where this engagement point is. You are gonna use it a lot. Notice uh, that uh, if you let the clutch go a little bit faster, motorcycle stalls. To avoid this, open throttle a little bit before releasing the clutch. I can't tell you exactly how much throttle you need. It varies from one bike to another. But two times the idle revs usually is good enough. You can start from there and experiment for yourself. Now exercise. Slow race. Look far ahead, relax your arms, give a little bit of throttle and start releasing the clutch. When you go past the engagement point, bike will slowly start accelerating. If you want to accelerate more, release clutch a little bit more. If you want to slow down, pull the clutch uh, just before the engagement point. You don't need to use the rear brake just yet. Try to go as slow as you can using only the clutch. Notice that it is very precise, very little movements uh, with the clutch, literally millimeters. You need to master that. When you feel comfortable doing all this, it's time to add the rear brake. Rear brake is not necessary at this type of slow riding. Use it only when you want to slow uh, down faster. I mean, you can slow down uh, eventually by pulling in the clutch. But you will slow down much faster if you pull clutch and use rear brake. So, the next step. Let's do the slow race using friction zone and rear brake. Again, look straight ahead, keep your arms nice and loose, open throttle a little bit and start releasing the clutch. Now, when you want to slow down, pull the clutch just past engagement point and apply the rear brake very light. When you want to accelerate, release the brake and release clutch as well. Common mistake here is when you apply too much force on the rear brake and almost let the clutch go. This way you can quickly burn the clutch. If your bike is certain, most likely you apply too much rear brake or not enough throttle. Rear brake should be very very light. 90% of slow speed maneuvering is a clutch and only 10% is rear brake. When doing slow race, your goal is to go as slow as you can. Sometimes you may even completely stop. When you feel like a bike is falling down, just release clutch a little bit and it will straighten up. Make it a habit. Don't drag or stick your uh, feet out. It will, if you will get used to it, you will stick them on the higher speeds too. This is very dangerous. On higher speeds, uh, your leg can go under muffler or saddleback. If you are going a tight turn and you put your feet on the ground, bike will go around you uh, and it will mess and snap your leg. I witnessed it for myself. Please don't do it. Please don't drag your feet. Again, when you are riding in friction zone, just release clutch a bit when you think your bike starts to fall. Let's watch another exercise to become proficient with uh, friction zone. Put a wooden plank under the rear wheel. Now in first gear, add a little bit of throttle and slowly start releasing the clutch. You should smoothly go over the plank. If you stall or send the plank flying back, uh, you let the 
clutch go too fast. Third and last exercise for today is turning from a stop in full lock. This exercise is considerably more challenging uh, than previous two. Start doing it only when you feel really comfortable with slow race. Put the bike in first gear, turn handlebars to full lock and keep it there. Keep your right foot on the brake. Turn your head and eyes as far back as you can. Bring your left foot on the peg or floorboard as soon as bike starts moving. Let the bike tip a little bit, then catch it by smoothly releasing the clutch a little bit more. Ideally, you should be in full lock the whole exercise. This way, you are preventing the bike from dipping only by smooth and precise clutch control, which is exactly what I am trying to develop here. When you are comfortable turning left, start turning right. It will be more of a challenge since uh, initially bike is leaning on the left side a little bit, but with precise clutch control you will make it too. That's it for today. Please practice your riding skills in safe controlled environment like empty parking lots before doing this in public roads. Don't forget to hit thumbs up, thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe button. Ask, ask any questions in the comment section. Bye.